What's up guys, Eric here with the Hollow Herald. Today we have a really exciting video for you. We're going to be testing measuring on the HoloLens versus measuring on the iPhone using their correlating apps. We got this idea from Satoshi Fujimoto, so he was the first one to come up with it. He just released a couple videos, we'll link to them in the description below, and we thought we would go ahead and give a crack at it with our apps that we prefer to use. In this test, we're going to be measuring in centimeters. We've laid out a piece of tape on the ground that we've measured out to the perfect distance. We'll tell you when I get into the video. And I'm going to first mark it off with the hollow lens, and then I'm gonna mark it off with this, and we're gonna see which one gets closest. Uh, I'm interested in what you guys think. This is less hollow lens versus iPhone, more, IR versus slam tracking. Now, the slam algorithm and the slam tracking is actually really accurate, so I'm excited to see what the results are, but especially in price range of what you're getting for the two. So it should be really exciting. Let's go ahead and get into the test. All right, so here we are. We're gonna test the iPhone first to see how it measures. We're gonna start with the short distance and then move on to the log one we've set up. The first one is 100 centimeters? Mm -hmm. The first one is exactly 100 centimeters. So let's go ahead and open up the app. We're, we're using the app Tape Measure. This is the most highly rated app uh, on the App Store, as you can see it just popped up. This is the most highly rated app on the App Store. It's got like 1.6 thousand stars, not stars, ratings, and an average of like four and a half stars, I think. So it's, it's rated quite well, so I picked it. And let's go ahead and try it out. So you can see all those little dots that pick up. It's actually really awesome to watch the slam algorithm at work. Um, probably my two favorite things about tracking in general is just the, the mesh that it creates. All right, so let's go ahead. And now accuracy is very important. I kind of wish it stabilized the camera a little bit more, but I'm gonna try to get this as close as possible. Oh, I don't need to retry that. That's not a good one. Boom, all right, that one's perfect. All right, that's right on the line. All right, let's come over and test right here. All right, okay, I got it. Looks like it's 97.81 centimeters. So it's about three centimeters short. This is exactly measured out to the T. So pretty good, pretty, with like a margin of error, I mean, if you're just like trying to see, hey, if my bed will fit here, or my couch will fit here, will the TV stand fit here, that's definitely close enough. All right, now let's do the long one. This one right here is measured out all the way to uh, 400 centimeters. Sorry, my lavalier keeps getting caught. This one is 400 centimeters exactly. Let's go ahead and try it. And now this is where I estimate that we'll start to run into problems. All right, ah, oh, that was not a good one, let's try again. It's not good, sorry guys, we're really shaky. Okay, there we go, that was a good one. All right, let's go over and let's go test it out. Follow the whole thing. Now, I don't know if it's better to be farther away or closer up when you're tracking it, but I'm just doing it how I would assume. Just for my aiming purposes, I have to get pretty close to it. All right, oh, perfect. All right, let's see what we got, and 376 centimeters, exactly where I thought it would fail. This is a little bit curved of a tape line, but it's exactly 400 centimeters. So you can already tell that we're running into a problem. I can't do that off the top of my head, what that is exactly, but it's off by quite a bit. And you can see why. When we come down here, did you see how it kind of lost its mapping? Let's go ahead and we're gonna do it one more time. Let's do it from the other end. You can see how it takes a second to snap in. We're gonna do it from farther away this time. Let's see. I'm trying to get it to get as many dots as possible. I uh, see it's harder to get when you're farther away. <sighs> Sorry guys. Boom, there we go, that was perfect. All right, now let's try to do this from there. You can already see the dot beginning to move. See, this is why I really like the idea of air, air kit, but you just have to make compromises and everything. In ease of use comes a little bit of sacrificing accuracy. Okay, that's about as close as I could darn get it. That's pretty good. All right, let's see what we got. It's kind of hard to see what it is. It's in the ground. Looks like 375 point something. So yeah, looks like that's just about the margin of error for that distance. And I'm going to assume this margin of error is going to get greater and greater 
the farther we go. Maybe there's other apps that work better. If you guys know better apps, leave them in the comments below. But this was just the highest rated one I found. Anyways, let's go ahead and try switch over to the HoloLens. The, Ho the HoloLens app is very similar to this one. All right. Now we're gonna test the HoloLens. I want to note real quick, we just finished testing with the iPhone. We were at about 50% battery. You guys can probably watch it in the screen cap. We just drained the battery. We went from 50% to 25%. I'm sure a lot of that is due to that we were recording the screen, but I know that the AR apps drain the battery on the iPhone, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, HoloLens doesn't have the best battery life, but it's better than that. All right. We're gonna conduct the same test the same exact way. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up our measuring app. I just scanned in the area completely fresh just to make sure it's fair. And we're going to use the app Hollow Measure. All right, there it is. All right, load. We are recording with the HoloLens, so everything will be a little bit slower and a little bit less, slightly less accurate, I believe. All right, there we go. Now it's opening. This was made with Unity. And now I picked this app and the other one because they function very similar, similarly. Eerily similarly, really. All right, let me move this out of the way. All right, this one's cool. We can select all different types of ways to, uh, we can select all different types of ways to measure. It's really nice. We're just gonna do simple distance for this one. All right, just like the other one. Oh, this is kind of interesting. I'm gonna show you guys what the HoloLens sees. So you noticed with slam, slam tracking, it was a bunch of little dots. This is what the HoloLens sees. It's a spatial mapping like so. You can see I sp spaced in, not the whole room, but fairly quite a bit of it. That's what it looks like. Very awesome. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue our test. All right. Now I have to, oh, let's do this. Let's start with the small one. All right, so yet again, this one is a hundred centimeters. Sorry if the audio is not the best, guys. Oh, perfect. I couldn't have done better if I tried, and I was trying. All right, and let's get this. I might hold my head a little bit. This is a problem with both of them. Uh, there needs to be like, needs to use the RGB camera or something to kind of like give you like an anchor point. All right, there we go. 1.02, so it looks like we're about two, and I missed that. I did not do it very good. I'm gonna retry that one more time. I'm gonna get really close to it this time. Good. All right, now let's come over here. Oh, I failed that. I wanna, I can get this more accurate. All right, let's try it for the third time. I did really good with the iPhone. The iPhone was easier to aim. I'll give it credit for that. Okay, I can only get it 1.02, so it's two, two centimeters off. When I tested it earlier, I got it one, I got it 99. So I think it's more due to my shaky head than it is to the accuracy. It could go down two, if I was accurate enough with it, I could get it down. But I guess in the end, it really just shows that maybe that's a problem with it. Anyways, now let's do the longer one. I don't remember the results, I think it was it was three off on the shorter wood, and I think it was a uh, 375 ish is what the iPhone got instead of what it should have got was 400 on this one. Let's try the long one. All right, first one. Now this long line should be 400. Exactly, four meters exactly. There we go, I got it right on. You can do the shows how bad of our taping job was next to it. So there you go, 400 right on. And you can see it does a little bit better job of remembering where it is. You can see this end got a little bit lost, but when I get back down here, it gets just moved like a centimeter or two off. Whereas 
the tracking on the iPhone was much farther. Now, the thing about this to keep in mind is this will just get more and more accurate the farther you go, whereas the iPhone will get less and less. Like I will walk over here, look at the computer. I can show you guys this weird depth of field thing. And now I can come all the way back and looks what's right where I left it. My dot's basically right there and my dot's basically right here. I mean, it's almost nearly identical. And look at the small one, both exactly almost where I left them. So there you go. That's iPhone testing versus the HoloLens. I think the HoloLens definitely wins, but let's jump to my final thoughts in the outro. Well, there you have it. That's HoloLens versus iPhone tracking. Were you guys surprised by the results? I really wasn't. This is one of our tests that I kind of expected our results. Uh, the iPhone underperformed slightly in the shorter distances and in the longer distances, that's when it really started to uh, not perform as well. Now, my biggest drawback with the iPhone is the fact that if I walk away or if I close the app and I come back to it, it's very confused. Whereas with the HoloLens, if I could close the app or if I leave and go to my house and I come back here, the measurement's going to be exactly the same. It's going to be exactly where I left it, which is more important if you're trying to do area or measuring out a wall or measuring out a cube. You know, that's when the precision really comes in handy. So a couple centimeters might not seem like a lot now, but imagine if you're doing a cube and each line on your cube is going to be off by five or six centimeters. Then you're gonna have a completely wrong cube. The iPhone is really handy Handy. It definitely wins in ease of use. It's free. It's already built into most of your phones if they're newer. Uh, so it wins in that aspect, but for technicality and for professional use, I definitely recommend the HoloLens. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe, comment, and share. You know all the things we always tell you. If you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and don't do any of that, but we'll catch you guys in the next one.